Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing two different primers. They're supposed to do similar things so I thought it would be just a fun quick video to show you the difference between these two. This is the Cali Ray So, Blur so Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer and this is the Glowish Blur Jam. Uh, there was another one, the Iconic blurring glowing blurring primer i will review that one as well probably in a different videos but these two seem to do seem to have the same claims i will be putting them on side by side wear them throughout the day kind of take you with me and show you in natural light and see which one wins so if you guys are interested in this video continue watching if you're new here welcome my name is tanya i'd love for you to subscribe down below and let's get started I'm gonna start talking about the Cali Ray. This is the outer packaging right here. And you have the primer inside. Primer comes in a nice packaging. It is a squeeze tube and it's quite you know easy to use. Let's take that off. And then I'm gonna do a little squirt right there. This one feels a very, very smoothing and almost a velvety light. It almost feels like my whole um, hand feels slightly silicone-y and smooth. The claims are that it is a lightweight ultra blurring primer with collagen peptides to moisture and nourish the skin. Um, the finish is matte. It has three highlighted ingredients, GP Hype, tripeptide it supports collagen synthesis and skin health uh, pour away which visibly tightens dilates pores um, mops up oil and mattifies and perfecting powders which smooth the look of imperfection fine lines and pores so to me this kind of seems to be like a more moisturizing pore feeling primer and it feels it feels very smooth on the skin. It, my, my hand feels right now very velvety. Now this is the blurring jam and the packaging is very different. It has this protective that you kind of want to keep in there and this is how it looks inside. I am going to take just a little bit of this and put it on my hand right here and see the difference. So I immediately feel this cooling sensation and it doesn't feel as uh, perfecting and smoothing as the Cali Ray. This one feels more cooling, moisturizing and dry. It sounds weird that I said moisturizing and dry, but it dries down faster than the Cali Ray. This one is still very smoothing, very velvety. And this one to me, it's sunk in and it feels just cooling and matte, almost dry. Um, I hope that makes sense. So this one, I still feel it on. It feels very silicone-y, and this one definitely feels like it already set. My hands look the same right now, <laughs> but we will test it on the face, and let's see what um, Glowish has to say. It says that it is a clean silicone-free primer that helps texture, pores, and uneven tone instantly fade out of focus and boot boost skin hydration for a soft focus finish. This one also highlights three ingredients, the Damascus rose water with which soothes, visibly cr clarifies and locks in extreme moisture, which I could feel that moisture and that cooling. Pickly pear extract, a rich source of vitamins and antioxidants to provide intense hydration. So it seems like this one is focusing a little bit more on hydration right now. And the cactus flower extract hydrates, calms, and soothes skin while supporting a strong skin barrier. So those are the three highlighted ingredients. So I feel like you can kind of tell on the hand that this one was more cooling and hydrating and i could see that cooling helping your skin like calm it down and this one definitely is much more pore filling or smoother to the texture i'm gonna start on this side with the um, uh, glowish and i'm gonna put it right here 
I want to focus it on the pores. So it immediately becomes from that gel, it becomes a very almost watery, not quite serum because it's not liquid, but it becomes very watery. That is, I think, the best description. Like a gel cream that's lighter. I feel like my eyes are very red today. I'm not sure why. I slept well. So right now, looking in the mirror, I don't see a difference in my pores. It feels a very nice hydrating, but not as much smoothing. I don't see my pores completely disappearing right now, um, but it feels very nice. Maybe a tiny bit more than the side that doesn't have anything, but again, it matters how the foundation goes on top of it. But right now, it feels nice, not very tacky, maybe like 10% tacky. Put that cap back on to make sure it doesn't dry out. And let's go to Cali Ray. I'm gonna take again, just a little bit like that and focus it mainly on my pores. Oh, this instantly feels very silicone-y. It feels very smoothing and yet it's still hydrating like it, it doesn't feel drying at all honestly this one feels smoother than this one right now so with this one i immediately saw a more smoothing effect this kind of reminds me a little bit of the my tom ford primer traceless primer it's kind of one of my go-to primers right now because it makes everything stay in place and it's just very smoothing. I am gonna use my House Lab foundation. This one, I just know I've been wearing it a lot lately and I feel like the finish is beautiful. It's not too matte, it's not too luminous. It's that natural finish and I think it'll work well with both foundations. I have mine in 200 and I put just one pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take a little bit and let's first go on this side and blend it out. I don't feel the need to have a primer with this foundation uh, because it is just a good over pores, even over texture. I feel like it works really well, but I definitely use it just because I like that smoothing property around my pores. So the foundation went nice over this area. I wouldn't say that it is extremely blurry, but it feels more hydrating. Um, it, but it didn't peel or did anything weird like that. So that's a good thing. Let's see this side. So I expected the Cali Ray side to be extremely smooth and this one not cover the pores that much. And even though this seems a little bit smoother, this one gives a more overall perfected look. Like it's not necessarily the pores, like I can still see the pores, but it looks a little bit more luminous and perfecting. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised because I really expected this to be a huge difference from one side to another. And I think it looks kind of similar yes the pores right here are a little bit more filled in but this side looks almost just overall smoother the whole area not just the pores and there's a slight luminosity to this area on the forehead i feel like it's quite similar i still need to put a concealer under my eyes and we'll see that but initially this is how they look like and I feel like they're more similar than I expected. I am gonna take my Colfi concealer or Colfi. Uh, I feel like I always mess it up and you guys correct me and I forget how to say it. I know it's like a dessert. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit here, here. I'm gonna try to keep the makeup not super heavy. I do wanna wear it all day. So I wanna be able to see the skin and not crazy eyeshadow guys this concealer is so so good um quite you know well priced for what it is i think it's 26 dollars so it's not cheap but for sephora and other concealers i feel like it is 
it's so worth it you have to look into it let's zoom you in and this is how we're looking like i did not powder the concealer at all and honestly i like the glowish better right now i think it's smoother less texture um and just overall it has a slight luminosity but it's not glowy and i think it's quite unique i think the cali ray looks a little bit more perfected like the pore area but overall i like this side right now um i'm, I'm gonna go outside as well and show you in natural light close up so you can kind of see the difference but a disclaimer on this side i have a smile line that i don't have on this side so just foundation will go on this side more so just ignore that but um just around the pore area the forehead i don't think it's a big difference at the moment but i do i do think that this side looks just a little bit smoother overall okay i am going to go finish my makeup i will powder my concealer and then i'll show you how it looks once everything is applied i finished my makeup on the eyes i have this urban decay space cowboy just all over the lid and that's it um as a blush i have what did i put as blush I remembered it is this this is from Westman Atelier and it is the color petal I just put a little bit right there um, highlighter I added a dot of this Charlotte Tilbury highlighter mixed those two together added you know very little at the top a bronzer I used my rare beauty stick this is in happy soul and then what else lips okay i used my makeup by mario lip liner in toasty and then on the lips i have the gucci lipstick in painted veil it is this one right here i put this one and because i'm so extra i added a little bit of the carol beige right in the center you can see it transferred but that's the lip look today and that's it mascara is uh, tower 28 on the top and hourglass unlocked on the bottom now that i got it all out of the way let's talk about the primer so zoom you in real close and this is the glowish primer and this is the cali ray and i'm quite surprised that i like the glowish more i think overall it looks smoother less textury and it just i feel like everything glided on really well this left side to me looks more textury like it has a little bit more texture around the eye area right here the pores do look a little bit smoother but the rest doesn't it's almost like this one filled up the pores but not didn't smooth everything like glowish did so i think it's kind of once better for one thing the glowish is just overall smooth the smoothness and maybe a little bit of moisture in there and then this one is to fill the pores rather than smooth everything i don't think they're one's bad and one's not but right now just the overall look i think glowish looks a little bit better i'm very curious to see how these last throughout the day i have a long day so i will definitely be you know checking in in daylight so you guys can see everything all right guys that is everything for now i will be checking in in a few hours show you in natural light and i'll also show you at the end of the day after i had a full day wear test okay guys this is my first check-in and let's zoom in i am in the car waiting in the car line for pickup for kids but this is how we're looking like let me turn right here so this one right here is the which one was it the cali ray and this one right here is the glowish sorry i'm like distracted so right now i still like the glowish better i think it's smoother than the cali ray i feel like here you can kind of see my texture much more than here i think this is smoother so yeah i feel like nothing really changed it still wears nice the foundation still kind of put i'm gonna um, look in the mirror yeah the glowish is definitely a win i feel like the light is not doing this justice 
maybe like this because it's not even anyway yeah this nothing changed it's pretty much the same and I will keep you updated. We got back, I've been out and about, and I thought I would do another check-in. Okay, let's see. I think everything is still the same. Let's actually go outside. There we go, so much better. Okay, this is how we're looking like. I feel like nothing has changed. You know what, I'm slightly disappointed on this side. This side looks so beautiful, so perfected. Let's walk in even better light. I think this looks really smooth. And you know, it's not terrible, but I had such high expectations from for the Cali Ray that I'm just like, oh, um, it's not as good as like my Tom Ford or even the Glowish. So I actually had no expectations of the Glowish. And I'm filming in 4K, so you should be able to see every single pore I have. Um, and yeah, that's about it. It's kind of nice and cold outside. Like enough where I have a jacket on. I actually have this suit on. I don't know how much you can tell, but it's from Free People and I live in them. I have three colors and I want more. Also, look how pretty my backyard is. Uh, one plant died. I have one plant that died. We worked on our little back area here and Andrew built that swing. It's like a um, day bed swing and he built it, he did it. Anyway, I'm proud of our little backyard area because we worked so hard this summer for it. But yeah, this is the update on the primers. I am going to work out today. So finger cr fingers crossed. It's gonna be it's gonna hold up because after that I have to go to a choir rehearsal because we have a Christmas concert coming up and um, I don't want to look sweaty and yucky but if I do it is what it is it's my voice that counts anyway that is all for now I think it's been about five six hours so far and I will see you tonight I just arrived home from working out and I thought I would do a bathroom check-in the light is probably horrible but this is how we're looking like I still think that both sides look unexpectedly well for you know working out I still like this side better the um, glowish I think it just looks a little bit more perfected and just just smoother overall so this is how we're looking like now um definitely see more texture here again nothing has changed except you know you know my makeup doesn't look as fresh but the my thoughts are still the same so i'll see you tonight i'm gonna change clean up a little bit clean myself up and go to choir and then I will see you guys tonight. I am back. It is late. I am so tired and I just want to go make some tea, have one chocolate bar and go lay down and watch something and do absolutely nothing. But before I do that, I am going to share with you guys my thoughts on the not the concealer, the primers. Um, it's been a long day. I've worked out. I have been running around with the kids, pick up the kids, just a bunch of stuff. I've cooked like greasy stuff. So like, you know, it gets everywhere. And this is how we're looking like. I actually think the foundation is looking really well. The fact that I've done all that and it's still doing well. All I've done, I've touched up my blush after I worked out and my lips and that's about it. And that was like five hours ago or something. Um, and let's zoom you in so you can see. So again, this is the Glowish and this is the Cali Ray. And I'm trying to look at this also in the perspective of if I had nothing. Uh, even though now I still prefer the glowish. I do think the Cali Ray also did a good job just kind of keeping the foundation there and smoothing the pores. I just found it that it showed the texture around here just a little bit more than the glowish. The glowish to me like looks incredibly smooth and incredibly perfected, but not too pore filling, if that makes sense. Like it's not 
too much. I actually really like it. I was also looking at longevity and I really think that this has helped to the longevity. Both of these primers did a really good job at keeping the foundation on and not making me too oily. I did not powder throughout the day at all even though I was sweating while working out. I think the main difference is that the Glowish is more hydrating and nourishing. And even if you have drier skin, you should try this. And I'm curious to see how it works on you. I have normal to dry skin and mostly now that winter's coming, um, it's gonna get worse and worse. And this works so well for me, I'm so excited. This is my second time using this, by the way. I've used it once before, but honestly, I didn't really look how the longevity of the makeup, and I didn't do side by side. So um, yeah, I'm really liking this. And even the Cali Ray, I am curious to compare this one to the Tom Ford, like Traceless Matte Primer. This one right here, the Traceless Soft Matte Primer. I love this one so much. This blurs my pores and it just perfects that area and it's long lasting. But, and I think the feel, they kind of feel similar um, on the hand. I think that the the blurring one from the one from Cal, I'm sorry guys, I'm so tired. The Cali Ray one is just a little bit thicker. Like the Tom Ford gets into your skin and almost becomes powdery. In the Cali Ray, you still feel it on the skin. So that's like a quick comparison between those two. But between these two, they are different. And I think that um, drier skin, I think the glowish will work so much better. And if you're um, probably more on the oily side, this would work, but I think Glowish would work too. So for me, I think Glowish is the winner, which I'm very surprised. I was not expecting because this Cali Ray is so hyped up. It has so many good reviews and I was waiting to be so blown, blown away. And I wasn't, it, I mean, it's good, but it's not the best. And so those are my thoughts on these two products. I'm glad I did this. I love when I do comparison on one side to another, wear it all day because even I get to learn what I really like and what really works. Because if you try it on by itself and at the end of the day, your makeup still looks good, great. But you won't know if it works better than another one. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm losing my voice and I hope you guys are having a great week. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.